What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to mod Fallout 3. And this basically was the same with Skyrim, Oblivion, basically all the Bethesda games. So, I'm going to be installing this mod, which is a companion mod for Fallout 3. Now, I already installed it. So, what I'm just going to be doing is replacing the files. And but you're going to be doing the same thing. So, anyways, let's get started. So, you're going to go to your finder. You're going to go to your applications. Let me just do it this way. Then you're going to right click on Fallout 3 and click Show Package Continents. Exit this because we don't need that anymore. Let me move this because I downloaded this mod from the Nexus. And if you don't know you know, about the Nexus, I'll put the link to the description. Especially it has all the Fallout 3 mods and Skyrim mods. And yeah. So you're going to be clicking C Drive. Program files. I'm gonna be going fast. Uh, Bethesda Softworks, Fallout 3, and then you're gonna be going in your data. Now, what your data is is basically um, your game. You, your game couldn't run without your data. So now you're gonna be clicking. Um, you're gonna probably need uh, the unarchiver or some art unarchiving um, um for some of these mods to extract them. Now here's the file I just extracted from that mod. And it's going to be called in your data. And whatever mod you have, you're always going to put it in your data. Always put it in your data. Alright, and then you're going to click Android ESP. Now, like I said, I already installed this mod, so I'm just going to be, you know, redoing it. And you're going to be going to, okay, so you install that. Now, you probably won't have meshes, Textures, sound, shaders. Probably won't have some of that stuff. And item generator, generator. But oh well. Now remember, this is um, you're not gonna have these. So you're gonna be clicking in sound. Then you gotta go to sound. Then you gotta go to voice. Then you gotta go to voice. Now remember, I said I already installed it, so I'm just gonna replace the files. Let's clean this up. I want that right there. I will be doing this for Skyrim because Skyrim is basically the same thing, but it's a little complicated for some people. So, and that's basically it. That's not at the end of what you have to do. Now let's just drag this to the trash, and let's exit that. That's basically how you install the mod. Once you're done installing it, you have to go to your applications. Let's click Fallout 3 and let's run it. Okay. Okay, now that it's on the launch screen, you're going to be clicking data files, and you're going to click the mod you installed. And mine's already checked, but yours probably isn't going to be checked, and then you just got to click OK. That's basically it. Then you press play. Make sure you read the descriptions when you install the mod, or if there's like a readme file in where what you downloaded. Because um, sometimes they'll tell you where that companion, or the weapon, or what errors or the bugs that are wrong with it so yeah but that's that's basically it so like subscribe and i'll see you guys later